Hi! I am so happy you got your kit and I am ready to give you kind of a little tutorial. Um, I already have something on my face that I'm going to tell you about. <laughs> so your most important step when you have um, acne prone skin is to really work on exfoliating to kind of take dead skin off the top so that our products can get in deeper into your skin. So on my face right now I have what you got which is the rejuvenating facial peel and you want to take a generous helping with your fingers and apply it quickly all over your face. Um, and I mean generous helping. I mean, you'll you'll use a decent amount. You can always add more. So I mean, start with a good dollop and wipe it all around. Then that sits on your face for about a minute. And while it's sitting on your face, um, you're gonna notice it's gonna start to kind of get sweaty after about a minute. It looks a little bit more shiny. And that's when you're gonna take your fingertips and start rubbing it in a uh, circular motion and you're gonna feel see the dead skin coming off your I just cut the grass so my skin is gonna look really dirty I apologize but you can see that it's gonna be it's literally going to feel like grains of sand all over your skin um, there you go see oops I'm knocking stuff over okay and you're so you're gonna get probably the most off of the area where you've been wearing a mask your forehead and kind of this chin region right here because we tend to get dry spots. This, so it's gonna take off all that dead skin. It's gross, I know, but it's super effective. The very best time to use your exfoliant is first thing in the morning when you wake up. Um, that's the very best time because the products have sat on your face. Um, you've accumulated a dead skin sitting on the top. So the best time to do it is then. Then, um, Use your washcloth and wipe in an upward motion, always in an upward motion, and take that off your face. All right, then our next step will be to actually wash your face. So you're gonna take your oil control cleanser, you are going to put a dollop on your hands, just touch your hands together and then touch your face around with it. You don't wanna rub it on your hands first because then you're wasting the product. Um, it's cleaning your hands and then not your face. All right, so then after you um, scrub that in, um, use some water and actually wash your face. I'm coming down here to do it. Oh, All right, then pat dry. And after this step, I'm not joking, you're gonna, after just washing your face and doing that, you're gonna feel right now, you're gonna feel this huge difference in your skin. You're gonna feel your pores start to tingle and kind of open up. Um, then you're gonna take your um, deep pore freshener and spray it on a cotton swab or uh, paper towel or napkin or toilet paper, whatever you have. And then again, we're gonna wipe in an upward motion. This is one of my favorite steps because if you thought your skin felt clean, um, wait till this kind of starts to sit on there and dry. So I probably did what, 10 squirts or so on there. All right, good to go. Then, your next step is um, using your two lotions. And you have two of them and I'm gonna tell you why. The clear way is going to be placed all over those portions where you are using, where you have um, blemishes. Right now, if that's all over your face, then use it all over your face. For me, I'm gonna put about that much on. It's thick and it actually takes a hot minute to rub into your face. So again, I'm just gonna touch my fingers. And I'm me. mine is my mask region that usually is acne prone, like around my chin where my mask rubs. So I am gonna rub that in here. It is important that this is the only moisturizer that goes on your skin um, where you have the acne. Um, you don't wanna put like double amounts of moisturizer on. Then your aloe vera barbensis jelly is a natural moisturizer. So you're gonna take a small clear dollop of that 
and you're gonna put that over the rest of your face. So anywhere you didn't put your blemish control. Or if your skin is starting to feel dry, um, you can use this over the clear way, um, but just a little bit, because we want that clear layer to work. It has the aloe vera in it. And then you also have your eye, um, your eye gel. So my very last step would be using a teeny tiny little bit and doing the eye gel on the top and bottom. Notice I'm not pulling, I'm tapping. And a little bit of this seriously goes a ridiculously long way. I have only replaced this once and I've been with Labrie um, a year. So your that's your skincare system, okay? The other one I wanna tell you about is when you're using your clarifying clay mask. When I get home, I wash my face just with the cleanser first. I don't do the, um, I don't do the um, freshener for second. I put this on. So I sit with the clarifying clay mask on for a good 15 minutes. And then I uh, wash it off. Um, if I have a really bad zit though, I will keep this on overnight as a spot treatment. Um, so you can use it that way as well. Um, it will, it kind of rubs in so you don't even see it. So like last night, this one had like a little head on it and I put a little um, clarifying clay mask on it and it's like virtually gone today. <laughs> so it's my favorite. If you have questions, just ask me. Um, but like I said, when in doubt, just use the clear way. Don't use the aloe, the extra aloe stuff, okay? All right, any questions, let me know.